in cryptocurrencies and fiat money. The money we use every day, for example, the US dollar, the euro, the British pound or the Japanese yen, is called fiat money and is controlled by central banks. The word fiat originates from Latin and translates to let it be done. In present times, fiat money does not hold intrinsic value, as it is not backed by hard assets such as gold. Nonetheless, fiat currencies are accepted as legal tender and the promise of the issuer. In other words, people blindly trust the competence and foresight of central banks. On that, the inventor of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto said, The root problem with conventional currencies is all the trust that is required to make it work. The central bank must be trusted not to debase the currency, but the history of fiat currencies is full of breaches of that trust. The value of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin is generally based on the amount of energy gone into generating the token. In turn, its issuance is governed by an algorithm that adjusts for difficulty in output. This is done in a process called mining. We will explain more about this in later videos. The maximum supply of most cryptocurrencies is limited. In the case of Bitcoin, there will only ever be 21 million in existence, with the last Bitcoin being mined around the year 2140. The limited supply makes Bitcoin a deflationary asset instead of an inflationary one such as fiat currencies. Cryptocurrencies usually work in a peer-to-peer -peer system, meaning the actual flow of money goes directly from one participant to the other without the involvement of any central authorities such as banks or payment processors. This system is decentralized, meaning all participants are directly connected in an uncensorable network. A cryptographic digital ledger called a blockchain is used to ensure that no coins are double spent. Every transaction is stored on the blockchain and a copy of the ledger is kept by every participant or node of the network. When consensus is reached, the ledger is immutable. An attacker must gain 51% control of the network to manipulate the ledger, which, when considered the massive hash rate of the Bitcoin network, is impossible to achieve without spending more than the value of any potential hack.